to the beat. Man, come on, Nala Daddy. Come on. The No Damn Filter Podcast. This DJ got Rex. It's your boy Bam409. It's your boy Young Ward, man. Alright, we need everybody that's watching this to subscribe, like, comment, send this to everybody you know. If you ever see us pop up, just share that to anybody you know. First person you see to share. Repost and share it. Make sure you always watch the latest. Hit, hit the bell mm-hmm. so you get all the notifications whenever we drop. Please so hit the bell. We drop. Cause you're never gonna know when we drop it if you Stay don't hit the bell. Baby. If you hit that bell, baby, you're gonna get a notification and boom, there you go. You can watch it. You can be tuned in. Stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. Mm-hmm. Boom. Nah, watch the shit. Yeah, get back to it. This is episode 26 of the motherfucking Know That Feels Podcast, man. This DJ got racks. It's your boy Young Ward. I'm bound for all number. Sometimes. We back at y'all with another one, man. How y'all been, man? Y'all good? I've been cool, man. Style and profile. Damn show style. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? But y'all already know how that go. Nigga the dodging this rain, man. For real. I'm oh. finna drown out this motherfucker. They've been writing entirely too damn much. I've been smoking and doing drugs. Staying in the house. In the damn house. Rain don't let you do shit. Rain don't let you be great. But I'll tell you one thing, then go do it some rain. <laughs> go find some sex. Yeah. True that. Yeah, freaked out. Some sex and some oil. Nah, shit. Boy, you know what? The dirt go down in the rain. I'm telling you. It's raining more muddy outside. Some shit going down. It ain't supposed well, to be going shit. down. It's raining muddy outside. It's going to be muddy in that cup. Yeah. Niggas say, uh, 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 Federal? Federal fa- babies? Money bag, yo. That nigga went number one, man, on the, on the yeah. billboard most of the time. And why Keisha really like the album. Put that bitch on TikTok, went all the way up. Stupid up. Hey, nah, that nigga J. Cole album. Set him by. Predicted to sell 350? Stupid. And I ain't tell her about no cream. He caught you on Back though, in a league across the world. Boy, I hoop it, man. I don't even hoop. I couldn't even hoop right on him. Um, catching the receiver. His manager ball said. J. Cole. He said, uh, his manager. His manager said he had texted him about the album, something about the album, and the nigga was leaving the scrimmage. Wasn't even worried about that shit. <laughs> Must be nice. <clears throat> you could drop him one of the best albums of the year and go hoop. It's crazy. Y'all see what happened to Reese though. Yeah. Stop fucking with him. I'm trying to tell y'all. He called a Grim Reaper for a goddamn reason, man. Hey. He got his ass beat down though. But the whole situation, how that shit happen? That nigga finna kill every single last one. And he can't die, man. He gonna respawn. Oh, speaking of can't die, I finished that Invincible this weekend too. Shit go hard, man. That shit go hard than I told you. I fucking told you. I hey, y'all go watch Invincible on Prime Video, bro. No, that, shit, that shit go down, bro. Shit go down. Had me all into that shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, he got the nigga, he got a, uh, his son got a black girlfriend and shit. He got real got interracial shit. They incorporating black people, I like that. His daddy was wearing his motherfucking ass out. Yeah. Beating the snot out of this nigga, you man. Say, oh, you think you can take it? See how you handle this. Dog, he was He punched his, his ass, ass so hard, he changed time zones like four, five times. You punched a nigga from Beaumont, Texas, Bruh. to Washington, D.C. That shit is ridiculous. How bad he was whipping his ass. That last punch, he would have died. 
the last fucking punch, he would have died, but he was like, nah, I'm fucking. Yeah. So he went, so his daddy went back to, uh, no. Don't know get your mic. I don't know where that nigga went. He just flew the fuck off crying. Damn. So, see, two comes. They got approved for two more seasons. So. We got that shit get. brand new, too, ain't it? Who came out this shit? That shit hard, bro. Go watch Invincible on Prime Video, for real. That shit, that shit hard. If you like watching the uh, violent ass cartoons and shit where they be got blood everywhere. And, and for the women, y'all, and shit. y'all be thinking anime gay and shit, bitch, fuck you. You, you the same motherfucker that want to listen to women screaming at each other all day in the house. A bunch of hoes in the house screaming and fighting all fucking day. Entertainment. It be the same motherfucker that watch Black Panther. They'll watch all the Avengers. Don't you know all the motherfuckers came from cartoon? And don't they don't know? They don't. They don't Man, know shit about no comics. I don't see what's harder or more manly than motherfuckers fighting. Bare knuckles. This ain't no boxing. This is bare knuckle fighting to the death. They was doing a lot of it too, boy. Show me where that's gay. Now shut your bitch ass up. To just think about what you did. I am almost still kind of confused at why he beat all they ass and killed him. Cause he lied about where he from. And oh, the bitch of my shit. Yeah, yeah, right. Niggas ain't no fucking helper. Mm -hmm. Niggas are conquerors. Yeah. But did he say he wanted to bring them shits together, bitch of mine? Yeah, uh, he Earth. want everybody to be a part of the bitch of my shit. Yeah. But motherfuckers ain't trying to. And over the fucking planet, so he killed all the guardians. Had niggas mind boggled the whole motherfucking season. <laughs> until the end. That nigga said. That nigga said he didn't give a damn about any human. Damn your son, damn your wife, damn your whole all the everybody on earth. Yeah. That's fucked up. That's where he coming at. That's why he left and didn't kill his ass, cause and nigga remember he got the the human the human shit, the mankind shit did that to him, made him all soft. Made him all tough. Soft at the very last second. But they did whip his ass though. That nigga they did hospital. whip his ass. They did. That nigga, they whipped his ass. They whipped his ass down real good, you know what I'm saying? They did that. Anyway, my bad man. I I just had to Catch up on it. Catch up on it. Because that shit go hard, bro. I'm sorry. They had already seen it. They told me to watch it. I watched it. That shit go hard to the bitch. Watch that shit. Anyway. My boy. <clears throat> you have the floor. Yeah, man. I just had to, uh... Some shit that was said to me, I just had to let y'all hear that shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sounds good. I had to. All right. Now, you know... I'ma just get straight to it. Okay. This is a scenario. A female, male in a relationship. Right? Nah. The female has been feeling some type of way about the relationship, right? Basically they going through it. They down right now. They got their ups and downs, but they down right now. So another nigga see that they down right now and he whispering sweet nothings in her ear and shit trying to get at her doing everything her boyfriend not doing is this a friend no this is just a nigga that peep like oh y'all going through it let me see if i can mm -hmm. slide in boom okay okay so eventually the nigga you know what i'm saying gain trust in the bitch whatever he do mouthpiece and then back the bitch so Basically, the female was saying <clears throat> the nigga, the nigga that went and tried to go for the bitch that was in a relationship is a simp because he manipulated her, basically was telling her anything to get in her drawers or get to her, knowing that she in a relationship, knowing that she vulnerable, and that makes him a simp. That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. That's the wrong. That's the wrong word to use. And I said so. He's something else besides that. What's exactly? And I said so. If he is simp, then what is she? 
That's the next fucking question. Who is I said who is more wrong in this situation? Yo ass. He's always the one. He not wrong, wrong at all. The one, well, they be using they be on He care, a whole ass nigga. They be want to talk about they been manipulating and all this other shit. You going to be manipulated your whole fucking life, bro? That's like a nigga say he said you got she got you in the van because he had some candy in there. Nah. Bitch, what are you, seven? Nah. And then nah. that's what brought up oh her emotions. She just probably so high in emotions. Oh, they going bro. through it. She emotional. And then he praying on her. I get that she emotional, but you can't be making decisions based off emotions. You a bitch. I I that's what you You is. can't blame your emotions on making decisions. You're a like dumbass bitch. You can't make yeah. decisions off of emotion, period. When it's some frantic ass decisions, some life changing decisions, bro, you can't sit there and be like, you can't sit there, all right, some shit pop off with you and your girl. You can't sit here and judge her when you mad. You gotta, you gotta be level minded because all you gonna think about is bad shit the whole time. Mm -hmm. You gotta be level minded when you do shit like that. You, you make big down. ass decisions like that because you pissed and now your whole life fucked. You are never to be trusted. You are an unloyal ass bitch. That's when that loyalty come in. You are uh, the most. He thought that loyalty was thrown away. You are the you lowest kind of hoe. But you gotta think about it. He walked you like a fucking dog. A damn That's what dog. I said. So it's his mouthpiece must be up to par if he doesn't swindle you out. Your relationship, but with her reason, it's more like it ain't a reason for a hurt. It's a reason for like all women that's been manipulated. Well, he manipulated me. You have a whole nigga. You have to believe that, like for you, niggas. And then it take time. It take fun. time to be manipulated, bro. You don't be Bruh. boom manipulated. For you to fall for that shit while you in a relationship. Now everybody know that you me? will fall for anything, anything when you're not in a relationship. Oh, bro, you falling for anything a nigga tell you if you're not in a relationship because you will fall for that shit while you're in a relationship. Man. And then you going on the nigga ain't shit rant. And then you going uh -huh. on uh, might as well get a girlfriend because niggas ain't nothing but a dick. Oh lord. And bitch. ain't even gay at all. Ain't a lick of gay. A lick of fucking gay. That's crazy to me. No, nah, man. It ain't no nigga fault. Well, people gotta understand, niggas gonna be niggas. It's the women that decipher who gonna be the, the, the nigga that's getting the most coochie, bro. I don't know how to explain it. You can't sit here and expect the same results from every nigga doing the same shit, bro. Like, you still, it's gonna, you gotta switch something up. Mm -hmm. She fucked that context. Home. Cause in that scenario, oh. in that scenario, she's the the worst. You are the worst type of hoe. The worst. You, the you worst let a nigga that bitch. came from nowhere come in as a solidified. That's like breaking in a fortress. Nobody should be able to get in this bitch. But y'all let this nigga that ain't got no liquor training and them breaking in shit get in here and then corrupt everything. That's exactly what he wanted to do. But he the problem. He waited until y'all had, a, until he seen a crack in y'all's relationship and slid his goofy ass right on in and fucked your motherfucking elastic out your draw. She's so emotional. She want to do this, do that. And she all over the place. She dealing with a whole bunch of this over here. And then what makes you think you fucking with him? You think he finna be your goddamn Superman? He finna come in while you have a nigga Save you from that, and all the shit you was giving old dude problems with, he finna pick that shit. You crazy as hell. You done got a nut, and now after that nut, you like, damn, I done fucked my whole relationship up. Now my whole life finna do a 360 in a matter of fucking seconds. Because that nigga ain't wash your car and you got your feelings. Now you done fucked the whole nigga over this mindset back. Man. He didn't get you no surprise flowers, so now you and your feelings and you finna cry. No, all of your all of your other home all of your other home girls got taken out Friday night for a little date, but yours yours had to work, so you mad at them. Wow, I don't know why that's the trend for people to overreact. Wow, smallest thing. He ain't text you back fast enough, so now you finna cry and be mad and let another nigga fuck. But what you tell the females that be like, all I wanted was some flowers or just go on a date? Well. If you keep telling me to do it, I'm just not going to do it. But if I don't say nothing, it ain't never going to happen. 
he ain't got no bread right now, so he can't take you out on a date. But like he said, all your friends and everything going on a date this Friday. With <coughs> the so you got mad and went fucked another nigga. No, no, that's probably why I ain't gonna have another girlfriend for a minute. Cause my loyalty run too goddamn deep. You be too man, damn deep. It's not, it's one thing. <coughs> I'm so deep to the point to where, bro, I don't even want you sitting down even talking shit on my name about me in front of your homegirls. That shit gay. That's, that shit really fucking gay. Cause you got to sit here. With this ain't shit ass nigga over here with his friends being all this doing all this other shit. You finna go right back with him. Bro. What's the point? Shut the fuck up. This talk. <coughs> this talk. You don't really mean that shit. When Shut you ass, when you could have just they just you could have blocked that nigga like Matumbo. For the emotions, they say anything. You could have did anything. Oh, you could have did everything in your power. Not to even entertain this nigga, but what you do? Fall for the motherfucking trap. He set your ass right the hell up. Okie doke. Told you everything you wanted to motherfucking hear at that point in time, and you fell for it. And you gave your coochie up for one, and you fucked your whole relationship up. Damn. So now you done gave up coochie and, and fucked your relationship up? That's a double whammy if I ever heard. How do y'all ever expect for some shit that's coming from an outside source, me, outside of you and your companion? Outside of you and your companion. How you figure that's ever the answer? If y'all in a relationship, females, if y'all in a relationship with a nigga that cheated on his bitch to get with you or to start talking to you and then y'all got in a relationship, what make you think he won't do the same thing to you? He is going to do the same thing to you. Fuck Matter that. Fact, what about the women that have side niggas and then want to be with they side nigga and get mad when they side nigga don't want to be with them because they was they side nigga? That nigga want to stay at number four. You don't want to be at number one. That nigga is good at number Do four. Do not promote me. Stop trying to promote don't these promote niggas, me. man. They don't, don't want to no be promotion promoted. to get on a higher Shit. level. Nah, I ain't trying to do that. You better go on. That nigga don't want to be number one. I already know how you coming. And they gonna stay number four and keep piping your if dumb you, ass down. If you wanted me to be number one, I would've been number one. <coughs> From the jump. Ben. From the jump. What make so, you think that nigga wanna get with you anyway? Yeah, you right. Yeah, I ain't about to play this game with you. <coughs> I know what game you're playing. I know exactly what game you're playing. Can't finesse I'm a, you gonna promote me to number one, and then you gonna replace another number four. You can't finesse a finesse. Her. Please. You gonna get a number four on me. And I'm going to know it because I was number four before. That's why you don't get promoted, man. Stay where you at. Stay where the like fuck you at, man. I don't want to go tip for tat all the damn time. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck what it is. I live for that. I'm too petty. But if I'm not, I'm talking about what a motherfucker that you finna be dealing with. Like, somebody that you, I mean, you can go tip for tat with us, but it ain't going to hold as much weight as it would with a motherfucker that's going tit for tat with you. Like, you, all right, being petty is one thing, but both of y'all going tit for tat, they do something, you do something. They do something, you do something. They have to do exactly what you did. That like, shit gonna get old. That shit is, that shit gonna get that old shit is real a fucking fast. headache. That shit gonna get old real fast. And for that to be a pattern, like, if y'all doing that shit every time something happen, yeah, somebody gonna get tired of that shit. I'm talking to, like, you go chill with your niggas. Oh, well, since you going chilling with your nigga, I'm going to chill with my home. Like, you wasn't even thinking about going chill, chill with your home. Chill in the bed, chill in the bed, Okay, well, bet, since you leaving, I'm leaving. Wasn't even thinking about them thoughts, man. Because I want to go chill with the niggas. You have to go do it, too. Come on, man. Everybody grown. We all grown, bro. Stop doing that tit for tat shit, man. Getting your lick back is one thing. Ooh. But tit for tat, that shit, that shit dead. I seen my homegirl boyfriend get her some flowers. Now, nigga, you got to get me some flowers. You have to. And if you don't, I'm going to be pissed till you get them for me. That comparing shit, boy. Stop comparing. And stop lying to that nigga talking about he the best dick you ever had. Fucking lie. <laughs> oh, my God.
That's why y'all be going crazy. Nah, bro. Y'all be letting these niggas come through, ram y'all shit, and then you stuck on him, but he do you dirty. So you try to get back on him, fuck somebody else, and he gonna do you dicky down even better than he did. Now you stuck on him, but you think you got it back. Y'all do, man, it's too much. It's too much. Too and much. stop, stop getting in the shit. Stop getting in the shit that you know you ain't ready for. Stop. It ain't gonna do nothing to cause problems. Matter of fact, I got a better one. Stop it. Niggas, stop dealing with female shit. Like, stop dealing with that bitch. And she doing the most. She being extra, all that shit. You ain't gotta deal with that shit. Leave that bitch. You a king, man. Leave that motherfucker. That's another woman that won. You don't gotta deal with that. He said the coochie too good. Mm -mm. Ain't no such thing. That what he said. The coochie too good. I'm gonna deal with whatever come with her. Mm -hmm. That coochie is immaculate. I, don't know. I feel like whatever woman I settle down with, I'm gonna deal with something. Everybody got their problems. But. Exactly, but you gotta know. You gotta have a limit. You gotta have a line. You feel me? Like motherfucker, do something. Who you gotta have? All right, I got a legit question. Boundaries. Let's say you do get with somebody. And then y'all be together for a minute. <clears throat> are you gonna accept that person for who they are, or are you gonna be wanting them to change? You can't change nobody, bro. It's certain things that you can, like, impute, like some knowledge or some game, whatever. But as in somebody ways, the shit gonna, ain't gonna happen overnight. But if they really rocking with you, they gonna have an effort. They gonna try. And as long as they trying, that shit gonna lead to something better soon. So what if they said they can't like that? <clears throat> I'm not finna try or I can't. Check it yeah. depend on what, what you implying and what you bringing up, what the situation is. Because if they can't change something that's big to you, then you should leave. That's say, all it is. Say, say you get with a girl, right? And she, she got a nigga friend that she been knowing and been cool with since she was in fucking diapers. Do she got to... Are you gonna want her to stop communicating with that nigga? Not stop completely. Stop fucking with the nigga at, at like period. Not completely, it should, it should but it's a respect, respect level on me. It's a, it's a certain amount of respect. respect. Most yeah, people don't be to. looking at that shit like that, but it gotta be a respect level. I shouldn't be able to hit. If I got a homegirl I've been cool with since Pampers, and now we growing and she got a nigga. Off real, I'm not hitting her up whenever. And they she definitely gonna have that. to hit me up first now. They should understand that too. Whoever you cool with since birth, they should overstood. That should be overstood. That shouldn't even be a question. Like, oh, nah, they, you know what I'm saying, with somebody, I ain't even going to be around because that's going to look weird. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I can't deal with that shit. I mean, everybody. You got to cut that nigga off. Everybody got that person. He here. got to get cut off. He has to get cut off. If you can't cut that nigga off, don't come fucking with me. Man, don't. Man, we man. not getting together. It's going to be hard to do that shit. Because you gotta think, if that if it's like that, they people know it. They people would probably be at each other's crib, having a barbecue, uh, crawfish ball, shit like that. Am I am I am I childish <coughs> for wanting that shit to get cut off? Yeah, that's childish. It it bro, on the if they been together since birth and they people are cool, you can't say you can't cut that off. That's impossible. Yeah, I was gonna say that's they people impossible. tied in. That's different. That's right? you know what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. I'm just I I'm me personally I'm just not gonna be able to be with her then. Cause I I know well, no. I know niggas, man. I don't give a fuck if y'all was in Pampers. <laughs> I know how niggas operate. He's going to try something eventually, if he hasn't already before y'all got together. And if he have, that's even more reason to like, nah, bro. No. Mm -mm. I don't give a damn if that nigga show all the respect. You fuck you. I can't do it. I'm just not gonna be able to uh uh that's some that's some personal <coughs> shit. That's some inner self type <coughs> shit. I ain't gonna be able to deal with that, so I'm not gonna get with you. Like, that's just me shit, like chilling together type shit. That's like, just me though. That shit that shit weird. Even shit even weird. even doing all that texting yeah. and FaceTiming and all that of that. Shit weird. I can't do that's it, man. Like you cousin come around when I'm around type shit. I don't, I don't give a fuck. No one -on -one shit. I don't give a fuck what you females say, bro. Y'all don't know niggas like we know niggas because we are niggas. <coughs> niggas will play that long game 
until we was just talking about that shit. Until you, till they see that motherfucking crack, any type of little crack, they gonna be that shoulder to lean on, and you got me fucked up. And niggas know how niggas rock. And you should you be on the nigga to up. get straight to, not straight to the point, but be upfront with you because of shit like that. A nigga gonna be talking about, yeah, I'm trying to chill and kick it with you, you end up you know, fucking somewhere down the line. At least he being honest, it's instead of this nigga trying to be your friend and be your shoulder mm -hmm. to lean on, What's as the, soon as you need <coughs> a dick, he the, he the dick that you he wants you to have. And what, that will be took into the fucking grain. What confused me is y'all be man. so surprised when a motherfucker try to fuck or try to make a move with you. And I'm like, this nigga been... I told you this shit was going to happen. It's the opposite of sex, bro. I told you this shit was going to happen. It's the opposite of sex. Motherfuckers just might, in the spare of the moment, might be watching TV and just, damn, I just feel like fucking you might just look good. Or you just do the simplest thing to catch their eye. Like, they don't fuck around and no get telling what it is. You're drunk. You, this nigga took the words right out of my motherfucking... I was just finna say, they gonna fuck around and get drunk together. It don't oh, matter, man. Them feelings gonna start. Ooh, you drunk. Uh, man, you look good. You the dick that's here. My nigga ain't nowhere to be found. He out of town or he, he chilling with the fellas. He doing something, he at the crib cooling. And I'm in the clear because I'm at a family function or he know that you, he know that you wouldn't try no shit like that. Fuck that. I have been new here to try some shit like that. And that's why I can't be cool ever. But I feel like you gonna feel that vibe. You know what I'm saying? You gonna be like, oh no. Nah. Not with a this nigga that know how to play that shit. Nah. She is. Ain't no way. Shit, nigga. A nigga that know how to play that shit will give you the most cool vibes in the world. You'll fuck around and get cool with the nigga. Or y'all be, y'all be having mutual understanding that y'all cool and then he'll still slip some shit. That's me. That's why I was That's why he knows I that what the fuck situation. I'm talking about. This has been a time when she came around and she just, oh yeah, he ain't nothing. Nah. This ain't nothing but, that ain't nothing but DJ. I've been tearing that shit down. That Girl, ain't nothing but cool. DJ. You ain't got to cool. worry about him. I've been knowing that nigga forever. He ain't, school. he ain't never tried nothing with me like Talk that. Talk about, babe, this is, this is bam. I've been over here, too. we just been cool. This ain't nothing but Ward. I and I'm having flashbacks to the back shots. That you never knew nothing about. And you will never know nothing about because ain't nobody saying nothing Matter about Matter of fact, it. she told you, you beforehand that she was gonna, my boyfriend might be here, so act cool. And, ooh, yeah, she be in and that mean you a slimy ass bitch too yourself. <clears throat> what what that wife, nigga say? You know. sliming up the fucking nigga, you sliming to bring her back home. Come on. <laughs> Fuck. That nigga, hey man, I'm telling you. <coughs> y'all don't know, man. Y'all, y'all gotta stop looking at these niggas crazy when they tell you. That they don't want you to have no opposite sex friends, man. It's a reason. I don't give a damn how long you knew the nigga, man. Fuck that. I, I can't won't, go. I bet you won't uh call your male partner females. I bet you won't call your male partner or text the nigga and be like, shit, I'm horny, I'm trying to fuck. What's up? I bet you he'd be like, what's up? Drop and this is just it could be just a, a, a social experiment. It could be just a joke. Taste the nigga be like he gonna he gonna send the eye emojis back, like, and that's all you needed. That's all you needed right there. If he ain't getting on your ass immediately, he wanted to fuck you from the job. <clears throat> been wanting to fuck you, and that's what we been trying to say. But y'all been cool since Pampers though, huh? So what that mean to me? So oh, I got something else. This shit just came by head. I feel like sending a bitch hard eyes on the ground is not shooting at the bitch. Or sending the hard eyes is not shooting at the bitch. It's not. That just means you got a nice picture. You that that's a that's a very <coughs> very that's a very lovely picture. But I'm not trying to shoot at you unless I say words to you. Like if I type words to you. Okay. Sending hard eyes, you know. Or 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 unless you try to start a conversation after the hard eyes, then that's when I'm gonna start shooting. If I shoot you feel the hard eyes, eyes and re you react to the hard eyes, I'm gonna say something. But if you just see the hard eyes, if you just look at it, I don't know. Best. I'm really not gonna respond to the hard eyes. But you know, women don't, man. It's women that be shooting shots, but 85% of the women is not shooting nobody's shot. They, they don't know be, how to shoot shots. They're gonna be like, I like two of your pictures. 
and you never said nothing, so fuck it. What the fuck? I like all of yours. And what the fuck? And I DM'd you. And you didn't say nothing to me. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't say, say shit. You didn't say a damn thing to me. <laughs> shit, what you think I'm gonna do? <clears throat> Tell you, man, y'all gotta quit treating us like a piece of meat. Stop using us like just for sex, bro. We got feelings too. We human beings too. You can use me for sex. What the? I pay for these services, bitch. No, don't get out of hand, though. A nigga gonna say that, but we gonna still do it anyway, though. We feel we feel like that, but we gonna still fuck anyway. Mm, fuck this. I, I be turning no. I be turning bitches down. I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. They don't get mad. I mean, shit. no, yeah, you gonna turn bitches down, mm-hmm. but you get mad. Nah, That's they, what I'm saying. You're not being used for sex if you turn people, shit down. People think. Males, know your work. Men don't turn females down. And that's a lot. That is a lot. Some niggas don't. Some niggas don't. Some, like we be talking about. Some <clears throat> niggas gonna fuck everything. Some niggas gonna fuck anything that they come across that wanna fuck them. She can be trash, then a motherfucker. If she shoot, I gotta get her. I gotta hit her. Can't be around no nigga like that, man. He gonna try to fuck anything that's around him, man. Any female that's Shoot around him. anything. Man, that fucks you up on more pussy if home girls are talking about they fucked you. Or trying, you trying to fuck them. If you trying to fuck every bitch, bro. Yeah. Everyone. Don't do that. Don't do that. What? What the? F- back to back, like, you shoot like, at this female, and then. That's all you do. She say no, day. you shoot at. The one behind her, like, bro, chill out. Oh, you, thirsty shoot, bitch. you just shoot that bitch. <laughs> you ain't never gonna get You no wake bitch. up, brush your motherfucking teeth, and start shooting that bitch. That's not what life about. <coughs> and shoot learn. It. Y'all gotta learn how to how to be able to chill with a female without wanting to have sex. Man. Hounding a bitch about some sex. <coughs> Can't even buy chill come. unless you fuck. Come you gotta on, buy man. with the whole first. She's going to want to She gonna want your dick way more If you don't even Say nothing to her About sex or give her even a vibe That you want to have sex She gonna want your dick way more And that's a fact Try it and see Tell me But after that third time After that third time She still ain't That third time y'all done chill Three strikes you out, man. We got shit in common and shit going cool. If we never was gonna fuck, you gonna burn it. You gonna burn it to damn self because I'm gonna just be. That's what I was asking you earlier. So how many times are you cooling with the hoe, chilling with the hoe, till you be like, all right, all right now. Until she burning herself. That's why I was getting it. I'm not <clears> sitting there. Whenever she hit me up on her time, I'm not going every fucking time. But at the same time, if I'm just trying to be cool with the hoe and not trying to fuck, I'm not going to be cool with that. Yeah, hoe. you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be in her face like that anyway. I'm probably going to kick it with her every now and then. She smoked, so we probably matching shit. But other than that, you know not to hit me up past 12 o'clock. I ain't going to lie. I'm not being cool with y'all. Like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not being cool with y'all. Like I'm not being friends with y'all. Yeah. No, sir. Not me. Why? <clears throat> because I'm going to want to fuck eventually. I'm going to think like a nigga. I'm I'm a whole nigga. I'm it, you're not gonna be my friend if you ugly anyway. First of all, you can't even have no ugly friend. Sure can't. <laughs> sure can't. Mm-mm. So sure if you looking good and you my friend eventually, <clears throat> I'm going to try you. Jesus, that's tough. It might fuck the re- the relationship. It might fuck the friendship up. It is going to fuck the friendship up. It is. But hey, that's I guess at that moment in time, that's that was a risk that I was willing to take. We started networking, <clears throat> meaning fine ass bitches that just got bread gonna put us on the mobile. He gonna fuck it up. He gonna fuck it up. Nah, I ain't gonna fuck it up. He gonna fuck it up. I'm gonna fuck it up. I'm gonna fuck it up after we get the bread. Hmm. I'm gonna hey, fuck it up man. after we get the bread. Nigga, talking about, man, I'm gonna meet y'all out there tomorrow, man. You know, I gotta stay back bread. a little bit. They gave me all. They gave us all the bread now. Uh, uh, <clears> man, <throat> stop fucking the manager, lady, man. How was your day today, man? Fucking dick about it. Yo, your day was good today. That's when you start chopping her ass down. 
Yeah. See, I'm giving too much game right now. I got to chill. I got to chill, man. I'm giving too much game, man. But y'all know. Man, somebody needs some game out here because y'all. Tooth. Y'all need some help. Y'all stink. Y'all need some coochie. Stinking. Stinking up the coochie, man. Y'all y'all doing all the wrong shit, man. I'm going to take a bath before everything, man. Yeah, something. Take a fucking bath before you fuck. Please get fresh before you fuck. Like your ass. Nasty, bro. Get fresh before you fuck. They gonna take your shit to go fuck. You get right your nasty ass right up off that toilet. They go sit your ass on the bed and let her suck it. That is now you know she's smelling it. So look, if your bitch know she's smelling your ass. Your bitch get up to go pee. And she come back, you eating the pussy. Nah, that's that. Nah, yeah, it's that, that bitch with a baby wipe. That bitch say, that bitch say, it ain't nothing but the noodle juice. Bitch. Ain't nothing but a little noodle juice. What the fuck is noodle juice, Cody Brown? That piss. The chicken flavor. That, that, that trickle that came down that, that, that coochie slit that nigga said after she got flavor. done pissing. Tart, salty <laughs> sodium. It's piss. You licking piss. She wants you to eat that coochie. Are you going to do it? Damn it. No. Discharge. That is nasty. That is nasty. Go get your ass in the shower when you get out of work. You better not. Trying to go. Trying to make. Girl. Stop ain't nobody fucking you. Jeans, man. I, I, I like yeah. the way them tight ass jeans look. But that coochie got to breathe. That's why I got lips. You, gotta you not. Ain't nobody fucking you after your eight hour shift, baby. Go get in the shower first. Jesus. <laughs> <clears throat> Talking that, about that I work at taught. nine to five. I sit down all day. That pussy is smothered, baby. Between them big ass thighs. Damn. And all that ass you got back there. Shit. Underneath Jesus. that fupa is coochie. Straight coochie. Ah, damn. You know how you dig in the hole and hit that last part? It's a coochie, man. You hit the motherland. You gotta go freshen up, man. Wash hit up. the goddamn motherland. Yeah. Hit that body with some soap and hot water, man. <laughs> Shit. Some smell good soap too. No, no, soap, hot water, and a rag. Rag, please use a rag. A damn rag. Yeah, you motherfuckers out here, they be they be washing their body with the whole bar of soap. Just just doing all of it with the bar of soap. Or they gonna put some body wash in their hand and do this. Bitch. Rub it on like it's lotion. Like it's bitch. You a dirty bitch. Well, I don't. I ain't gotta wash my legs. The soap just gonna run down there anyway. <laughs> I just let the hot water run on my feet. It's gonna bake the shit off my toes. It's going it, it it kills the bacteria. You know hot water. Shit. Mother love. <laughs> <laughs> What's the shit. fuck, boy? You over there moving dirt around on your body. You just relocating fucking dirt. dirt. Wonder why you got this. Wonder why you got two dirt footprints that's fucking staining your bathtub in the back. Cause that's where the fuck you dirt. That's where you standing at with the dirt ass feet. Wow, your Black white rags is damn near khaki now. Stiff. And hey, don't use your body rags as your cum rags, man. You gotta use the dirty, <sighs> fucked up rags for that, man. You fucking If you stupid. using a clean rag, I'm talking about you go in the cabinet, grab a folded a, rag, a folded and rag, and come on it to bitch. wipe some cum up, and then you bust on them. You're tripping. Then you go wash it and run the same one through your face to wash your face. You in the shower. It's a wash it dry. Listen, it's man. still going to clean it. God damn, you got fucking... Wash your face first. Two days to stuck on this fucking rag. Wash your face first before you wash your ass. Or just use two rags. Man. I was going to say, I be hiding the bitch and I took a shower. I'm getting straight nuts first. Don't even pay attention. Damn. Don't even pay then attention. Then go back and wash your face. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah, nah. I just have to reach out the shower and grab it. Grab, grab rag. another rag, man. But nah, I be if using you that, that uh, you can't wash your body in your ass and uh, then back door wash your face. Exfoliating mask, little glove thing. So I be using that shit to wash my face and my underneath my beard and shit. Man, you niggas, man. When you get out the shower, put some fucking lotion on. Man, have good hygiene, man. Take care of your yeah. fucking skin. Take care of your okay? fucking skin. And clip your fingernails. Oh, God, damn. Take this. Y'all niggas be having. Get your toes right. It's cool to go get a pedicure, man. You just scratched your head from sweating all day. You got weed damn. crystals. You, you got goddamn fucking box cutter fucking tape underneath your nails and shit and you want to go play with some pussy. Talk That's why you got UTIs and shit, man. You better quit that. You got Dorito dust under your fingernails. 
Been eating hot Cheetos all day. The red done stained around your nail trying Man, to go finger some pussy. You one of them unsafe niggas. You in the plant with no PPE on. You ain't got no gloves touching all this bacteria yeah, and all this want to get shit. Want to get right off of work in his work clothes and eat some cooch. Yeah, you want to finger pop some shit. He go fucking soak them bitches in Clorox. Talk about bend over. I'm tired than a motherfucker. After we get done fucking, then I'm going to go take a shower and go to sleep. Nah, you come home and get your dirty ass right in the bed. With your with your clothes on, with your street clothes on. Bro, Nigga been balling all day, I hooping will, all day. I will punch on anybody that do that shit. You been sweating all day, and you come get in the bed fully clothed. Chill out, bro. You gotta be fucking with me. You you it's this it's what the cameras. It's mm -hmm. a joke. You dirty, Somebody man. fucking you with me. On. You got a layer of dirt on your whole body. You're not making it to the bro. And wonder why his sheets are always dirty and got brown rings all over the motherfucker. How you got dirty ass brown stains in your bed and you sleep naked? He don't wipe his ass? Damn. No, he get in that bitch and get to farting in that motherfucker. Yes. Damn, there's shit on this shit. <laughs> and roll the fuck over and go back to sleep. Ass cheeks all you rubbing all over the damn sheets. You nasty. That shit smearing all up, man. Talking about I'll just take a shower in the morning. Mm. <laughs> Talking about it's gonna seep in the mattress, it's gonna be alright. You a dirty bitch. All I gotta do is wash the sheets. <laughs> you nasty. What sheets, nigga? You shitting on the last ones. Y'all niggas really be nasty out here. <laughs> oh, my mama. Y'all <laughs> niggas be dirty as fuck. Put some fucking deodorant on, man. God damn. Don't go to the store and waste your motherfucking money on no jail deodorant. One thing yes. I will say about deodorant since we own deodorant, I fucking hate deodorant, but I wear it though. I hate deodorant because my deodorant crumbles. So there'd be like pounds by two weeks of deodorant in my car seat, or I'd be sitting down chilling to be all on top of my pants. i be like, fuck. I ain't trying to be musty, but I, if I put on jail, that shit feels weird, bro. I can go like this. Shit nasty, bro. I don't, I, I don't know. That shit, that jail wear well, well, too fast. I'll oh, be no musty as hell in the 10-hour shift using some jail deodorant. Lunch break, I'm going to my car and put on some more. That's nasty. That jail deodorant ain't shit, man. That type You wear jail deodorant, you'll wear jeans with no drawers. They had a white boy I used to work with. This nigga, we was in a plant in the summer. This nigga was working in a dry fit shirt and some denim jeans and boots, with no shorts or drawers. <laughs> he said, We got in the back of the truck to give us a ride back to the gate. And nigga sat down in the back of the truck and was like, Shit, well, I'm chafing like a motherfucker, boy. <laughs> Hell no. That nigga, he couldn't sit down all the way because that nigga had a rash in his hand. So every time he moved, that shit burned. <laughs> That nigga dirty in the face. How do you wear denim jeans with no draw? Nigga dickhead been rubbing up against the front of his denim jeans all damn day. Bro. He got a whole chain. He got a whole sore on the tip of his fucking dick. <laughs> Trying to go fuck. Got caught in the zipper. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I heard you. He got caught in the zipper. Yeah, you got something. That's what it is. Can't lie to me, boy. She ain't never believing. <laughs> she ain't never believing you ain't putting no drawers on. Let's go to the doctor. Nah, we ain't gotta go. Doctor. We, we ain't gotta go. Listen, we ain't gotta go over there. We ain't gotta go over there. <clears throat> nah, I go by myself. You gonna leave me? We go over there. <laughs> this one I wanna know. I, I got some. Wow. <laughs> Why is it easy for a female to believe a lie? But hard for a female to believe the truth. Mm. Cause the truth don't ever sound like the truth. The truth sound like a fucking lie. So we tell you a lie in order to keep us from sounding like a dumbass from telling the truth. But yeah. we get caught up in a lie, but we really try to lie to avoid more problems. Apparently to them ain't nothing. To them. Every everything that's the truth sound just out of this fucking world. To females. <laughs> but it be the niggas. That didn't fuck all the trust up and get mad when she get like, nigga, you didn't fuck the bitch every time you left the house. You, matter of fact, you only leave the house for some pussy. That's sad. But Cause nah, you one of them. You are sad. Nah, as well. the female 
stay with the nigga. This is another thing. See how this tie in? But the female will stay with the nigga just so another bitch won't have him. Just so no other bitch can say that she has him. That's it. Well, she'll stay, fucking crazy. She'll stay with that nigga and be miserable just because he got money. Damn, you right. And she ain't gonna have shit. She a female will she date, get taken care of. A female will date a nigga that's 80 years old until he die. Do whatever. Fuck him, suck his dick until he die just to inherit his bread. And then think somebody gonna wanna fuck with her after. Where are they? And it's going, yeah, it's gonna be some niggas that wanna fuck with her after. For sure. I be hating. How uh, women be complaining about so much shit. But all a woman, all a woman have to do is literally, you can Wake rearrange up. your whole appearance. You can rearrange <coughs> your whole appearance. All she gotta do is wake the hell up. It ain't really too much shit a man can do to enhance his appearance, bro. If you a man, if you just out of there, bro. I'm gonna go to Doctor Miami and get a dick extension, man. That don't matter. I ain't much gonna lie to you. The only thing that make a man more attractive than what he is. Money. You ain't, you ain't ugly. I guarantee if, just we took a, if we took a poll in Beaumont and just some stupid ass poll, which one of y'all would fuck a nigga from no damn filter? Take a poll, blind poll, anonymous. Right now versus fucking weed, being ass damn nigga. Guess how many, the numbers gonna skyrocket. We just, we look exactly the same. Dressed the same. We could have an edge up Look both times. We got fresh as fuck. We up to our utmost cuteness we think we can produce as a person. Then boom. Show you that Have some money account. on there. The number's gonna go up. Show, you that, gonna go show down. you that bank account, man. Come on, man. You ain't ugly. You just broke. Facts. You get money, you are the cutest nigga in the world. Anything make you cute. Boy, you got... What's okay. that? Guarantee you, you got some bed. Boy, you got some plain tube socks on from Walmart, boy. You cute as hell, boy. That's cute. Damn. I ain't never seen a nigga do them socks like you do them. Never. Damn. Boy, you got... Damn. You got gray wash rags up in here? Oh, I ain't never seen a nigga have some gray wash rags. What? <laughs> boy, I'm about to suck your dick off. Some old basic Gray wash rags? Shit. God damn, you gotta wash that dry in your apartment? Boy, come on, get, get, get in the room, get in the room, get in the room. I'm about to bend over right now. I'm finna stick that dick off. in you right now. And you and you better nut it. You better nut it. Nigga said, you said, uh uh, you got all the games in the right cases? Oh, boy. Look. Woo! You didn't kick started this coochie, boy. You got extra Walmart bag? Stop. No, 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 you got actual trash bags in the small trash can? Oh, you got boy. Slap Your Mama and Tony Saturday? <laughs> yeah, for sure. What? You got chicken and beef? Fuck out of here, man. Stop. Fuck out of here. You got... You got cold water in the refrigerator? Nigga. Mm -mm. Come here. Cold drinks, cold Come soda, here. water, beer. Come here. You got... Boy, you got I love half. You. I love you. You got half eaten. Jaw of pineapples, boy, I'm gonna fuck you. I know what you're trying to do. I am. I know what you're trying to do. You got the shoelaces in all of your shoes? You got all your shoes in the shoe box? Oh my god. You got lamps in the corners of the rooms? Nigga. I know you lying. You got. You got coasters for your drinks? <laughs> oh my god. You got this whole ass class. This nigga has class. This nigga nigga has class. class in the back seat? <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god. You got chicken tenders and chicken strips? <laughs> <laughs> what about that shit? Man, you live in large. Jesus. You let the gas pump go over five dollars? You got an extra large? Man. You supersized it? You get 20 nuggets? You get a 44 ounce? Oh my god. A root 44 if you may? Jeez. Cause we better stay on our tickets. Nice. <laughs> Niggas say that bitch better stay on I 10. <laughs> you don't get that good. Bitch. You got Wi Fi in your house, boy? Oh, stop playing. My phone never moved this fast before in my life. Stop playing. I ain't gotta use my mobile hotspot anymore. What? I'm burning all my goddamn data. <laughs> oh my god. I don't have any more gigabytes. I can't, everything run super slow. I can't post a goddamn picture on Snapchat because my I ain't got no data. 
But I got to eat. You got seat belts in the car that don't go on the rail? Aw, oh, bro. Boy, you real. You fancy as a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. I love you. Nigga make some pasta and you swear to God he know how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga make eggs and bacon and shit. <laughs> shit I, I make cook some it eggs every day, right. bro. I cook every day. They go post it like, nigga, I'm gold. You do it like me, nigga. You made eggs and rice. Shut your bitch ass up, man. Very cheese and shit. Nigga make noodles with the weenies in there talking about he a gourmet chef. He put cheese in his noodles. Talking about I bet y'all never did this. He split the Zumos right perpendicular down the motherfucking middle. And fry them bitches just how you like them. He make a sausage sandwich but cut his cut the Zumo down the middle and put barbecue sauce in the middle. He cut a sandwich in triangles. <laughs> He cut all the crust off of his sandwich. He be cooking. And his mama make him, his mama make him uh, pizza rolls. He make perfect grilled cheeses. His mama collect pallets. His mama collect fucking pallets for a living. And she wear jabos. Damn. Damn. She wear the, uh, she wear the Melissa sandals. <laughs> She wear them. She got every color of them little sandals from the damn beauty supply. <coughs> the ones with the rose on it. Oh God, see through. Mesh. Fish net. That's tough. I can sit here and talk about a nigga mama all day. Me. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Damn. She still wear the socks with the damn bowls around it. At the top. Nah, she wear tube socks with with thong slippers. Damn. She got the grooves in between her toes. She got all the off-brand sodas cold in the refrigerator. Yeah, Dr. Thunder. Dr. Thunder. And Dr. Pib. Liters. Not the can. She yeah. got all liters. Lemon lime. Two liters. Twist. She don't put them in the refrigerator. Damn. She let them all stay hot till they turn into juice. And she got two ice trays. She got that deep freezer out in the back in the garage with a whole bunch with of meat all the meat in it that you can name. And a box and of pops. popsicles. And, and fresh uh, okra that you got to cut up yourself. And ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> that shit funny because boy, I just snapped so many seeds. <laughs> so many <laughs> I haven't. Oh, oh God. God. She got them fresh okra. <laughs> you got to chop them hoes up by yourself in the deep freezer. Oh, God. She ain't got... Nothing, she ain't got no kind of TV dinner, nothing quick in that motherfucker. It's all meat and shit that you have to cook. <laughs> Talk about they ain't got the deep shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> go grab some out that motherfucking deep freezer and put it on the yeah. damn skillet. Defrost that motherfucker. Better boil you up some weenies, boy. Shit, I got 10 party packs of Zumos in that I got motherfucker. All them ballpark Franks in the goddamn deep freezer. Better make you some beanies and weenies in this motherfucker. Better grab you some of the pork links in there. Shit, boy. I got a gallon of sweet baby rays in there. <laughs> Hell, you talking about? It ain't nothing to eat. Shit, me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she played one on one, though. She hoop on something. Hey, boy. One time I was at my grandparents' house. I like watermelon, right? But anyway. So they buy a whole big ass watermelon, cut it in half, and this motherfucker, my grandmother, put salt on my watermelon yeah. and gave it to me. Yeah, yeah, I done seen that. Shit that. And that shit pissed me off. That shit bust. I done seen that shit before many a time. I done ate that shit before and it pissed me off too before. I had to rinse that shit off. Oh God. Like, I almost had to try to lace her sneakers up. I ain't gonna lie. That shit pissed me off. I ain't saying to do that. Clean that shit. Put salt all on the top of his shit. He thought he was finna dig in. What? You can't even see it once it done dissolved in that motherfucker. That's how I feel if somebody put salt on their grease. Oh my. Salt and pepper? That's tough. This ain't no goddamn eggs, man. What the That's fuck? Tough, Damn. Hey, man. My food ain't touching. None of my food gonna touch. And. I know some people like this. I think y'all do this. I don't like syrup in my eggs. Nah. I'm not finna 
Nah. And I need some syrup for my eggs. Hell but if no. the syrup hit my eggs, I'm cool. And sugar don't go on every dish. Sugar don't go on spaghetti. No. Damn sure don't go on it spaghetti. Don't. No. I swear it don't. Stop. What are you doing? That's why you finna have diabetes in the next two weeks. That's why you all fucking teeth in the right. You wanna put sugar on there. You putting sugar on your green beans. You putting sugar on every dish that you cook. And your, all your sides in your house, you dash sugar. All on the top of that then shit. Do you want to call somebody sweet with your sweet ass? Everything you do and put in your body is sweet, bitch. Wonder why you got high blood pressure. You three meals away from diabetes, bitch. Wondering why if you don't eat it after a certain amount of time, you start falling the fuck out. Wondering why you built like a sack of laundry. That's why they don't let your ass drive. Talking about why a nigga don't want me. Do you not see what the fuck you do? See how you built? You see how it you live? Bitches do shit like that and wonder why they pussies taste like a fucking the 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 mystery flavor. Bitches be out here eating like sweetie. Now nah, bitches I swear to God that they shit is the best pussy ever, and that shit be mid. And that shit you can't tell that ain't shit gonna, ain't gonna hold you out for it. Shit smell like a crawfish ball. I'm gonna hold you out for it, boy. You ain't getting this pussy. You better wait a little bit longer. Hell, you talking about pussy be garbage. Pussy be garbage. Y'all sit here and walk past the goddamn garbage. And don't ever take the goddamn garbage out. Y'all sit here and walk and walk around the goddamn garbage like you don't see no goddamn garbage. Well, you better get the fuck out of my face. Go on now. Come on, shit. Tired of looking at your head. Your mom ever told you she was tired of looking at you? Yeah. My mom told me to get the fuck out of her face. Plenty of times. I'm sick of looking at your head. Leave. Cause you really got me fucked up. I'm running away, you don't wanna look for me. I ain't one of your little friends. Never that. Treat me like it's a game. I am the game. I bust your ass. Quit playing with me up in here. I'm gonna take a sip for the niggas. That ain't able to get no pussy tonight. Take a sip for niggas that I can't take a sip of no beer, man. I'm gonna take a they sip for the up. niggas that's locked up. Niggas that's locked up can't drink beer, man. Yeah. I'm gonna take a sip for the niggas that is fucked up. Take a sip for these niggas that's gonna tell the bitch anything that she wanna hear to get some coochie. That's gonna talk down on their partner to get the coochie. That plus that equals a sip. So I'm gonna take a sip on that. That equal two fifty each. Hold on. Thank you. We ain't incorporating two fifty enough, cause there ain't nobody collecting no debts. Ain't nobody do shit. Y'all not charging these niggas for being a bitch ass nigga, bro. Y'all talking about SBAs, PPPs, stimulus, income tax. This is where you finna get paid. Yo. Two fifty for being a bitch ass nigga. You have to run it. Each. Each. She thought this was. Y'all gonna fire these bitch ass niggas. Y'all gonna start exposing them. I'm gonna come out with a page. A bitch ass nigga bandit page. You gonna put their face on that one. Every bitch ass nigga across the world has to be on this page. That'd be a website. You thought you was cool, didn't it? You thought you was cool, but you really is just a bitch ass nigga. That's all it is. Them niggas hate when you come over. You gonna figure that. You specifically. They be up in there laughing and shit. As soon as you crack the fucking door, everything cut off. This nigga, man. You get up in there making corny ass jokes and shit. Think people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about no, nah, bro. They laughing with me, not at me. No, nah, bro. I used to fuck on her. Shit, I'm fucking on her right now and her friend. Oh, damn. Ain't did nothing but text her, hey, never seen the pussy. But you that quick, that quick. You Stop just let all bruh. the pudding go. Even if it bitch. was true. Bruh, let me you tell you. Snit, you telling every, you are not keeping bro, the pee. Let me tell you what a female told me a nigga did to her, bro. Check this out. <clears throat> they ain't never even seen each other in person yet. All they was doing was texting and barely was doing that. They see each other out at a club one day or at a bar or a little function or some shit. 
he go up to you know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 you know what I'm saying? They chop it up. Some of his friends come over there to them. He introduced the bitch as his girl. Wow. Yeah, man, this 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 is my girl right here. Nigga's lame. But yo, girl, nigga, who the fuck? Be dead ass. Be dead, dead serious. Cause nigga. I was gonna say I've done that and been not serious at all. Ain't did nothing know. but text her. But you gotta have some sort of relationship or understanding. Like I'm not saying that shit and meaning it, and it's never been a confusion on that shit. So I can't say I ever been a part of that shit. But you sitting here talking about. Oh, nah, this is my boyfriend. I'm gonna be like, yeah. Like, bro, no. Because I damn near want to fuck with one of them. It's always like that. You trying to bring a nigga over and trying to have him get cool with your friends. And y'all y'all just fucking. Y'all, you probably fucking some shit up for him in the future. Or for them in the future. Making it look like y'all together and shit. I don't know, you from a can of paint. Grain and rice. Hell is wrong with you. I'm gonna fuck her. And females stop trying to prevent uh cock block a nigga from getting some pussy from another female. Cause you like him, you want him. You want Only time man. I say that's cool is the girl is intoxicated. She ain't in her right mind, that's the only time you got the cock block. Other than that, shut your square ass up and sit your bitch ass down. That's really 250. You ain't even gonna have the cock block in that situation, cause I'm not even about to. Nah, we're gonna leave that alone. Some of you niggas. You know who you are. You niggas out of bounds, man. That's 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 250. You really need your ass severely beat. But a good old fashioned Joe Jackson ass with Joe I Jackson. I don't understand ass. why niggas feel like they too good to fight. What makes it to where you at a level other than uh clearly I have a power and shit, cause you know the head hunter are not finna fight, he's gonna kill you. But if you a regular fucking civilian, what makes you think you can't fight now? Like, what makes you think it has to be guns now? Like, what what did you do in your life for you to be, all right, I'm done with fighting when you ain't never fought before? Because that's what it's going to lead up to. So you might as well get that shit over with. You might as well smoke his ass. Because let's say you beat his ass, somebody going to feel some type of way about that. Either the nigga is, somebody partner is, and they going to be beefing. Another thing I understood, how the fuck you butt hurt because he got his ass beat? Not you, him. I mean, I don't understand that's your partner and shit. No, they got backstories and shit, but if it's a foul one on one, come on, bro. He got his ass beat. Regardless of who it is, if you lose, you lose, he bro. He just got his ass beat, man. Niggas that's talking shit. You took your you know, some, some type of way. Niggas want to fight eight partners. And it's going to be a whole bunch of shit. <coughs> so niggas like, you know what? I ain't even. Then social media. Nigga record that shit, you over with. So, I ain't about to go through none of that shit. I'm gonna just smoke you and get it over with. Man, look, dude, if you had to fight in the first place, it's either something you did or you just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Get disrespected or something. Nigga put them gloves out. That be, that be my thing. I show the utmost respect. So when I get disrespected, that's why I go left the way Not I do. Too. Fuck that. Fuck. You hear somebody else, they gonna take a mile every time. Time. Once you but take that, that mile, go. I'm snatching that whole back. That could go extra with so mile. much. That could go with so much, bro. For sure. Get these niggas in, they gonna take them out. And, and a lot of people seem don't seem to grasp that concept very well. A lot of people don't grasp the concept of temptation. Mm -hmm. Damn. Half of these motherfuckers, half the reason people do the shit they do is off of lust and temptation. Mm -hmm. The situation. And Whatever just because, kind of that's what I was going to say. And you know you ain't supposed to be doing that. Just because you fucking that person don't mean you know that person. You just know their proper parts. Mm. They, don't, they don't hold no entitlement. They don't hold shit to that person. Because females feel uh, entitled. Because once y'all understand... Well, once the woman understand pussy is everywhere and the dick is everywhere, they're going to stop having so much respect. Like, going to this length of extent over that. Basically saying, a nigga go deal with some shit just because of the coochie good. Awesome. And yeah. stop trying to own a nigga just because you like him or his dick good. So, Meaning, just because you fuck that bitch don't mean 
she need to be responding to your text immediately when you text or be available whenever you. That don't mean shit. You don't bro. own her when you in a relationship with it either. Man, I'm saying the female don't own the nigga too. And don't don't be nobody to, own nobody. Don't yeah, both sides. Don't be trying to block what they got going on just because they don't want to be with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They just want to have sex. Go get some and dick. you started having feelings and wanting to wanting to be more, but. The other person ain't going for that. Don't get into none of that shit. Don't get into nothing you ain't Let ready go, for. Baby. Go ahead, cut that loose. Good ass sex from a nigga and your ass be up and down. Was just like in pictures at first. Now you commenting on shit. Now you starting to force yourself. Man, chill out, bro. Chill out. So y'all be want to find yeah, out why niggas ain't shit. Because maybe that just ain't the nigga you supposed to be with. Maybe y'all started off fucking first. And that's just the best it was supposed you to be. Get that shit in the bud from the jump. You get on that horse, you got to ride it, man. Cause you let a nigga know, hey, this what I'm about, this what I'm trying to do. He gonna be like, shit, that ain't me. I ain't trying to do none of that. You can save yourself all you the go. time. Don't get and don't get into something just because the sex is good. Man, you need to understand how to leave shit where it's at and no let the situation and the circumstances make it to where it's supposed to be. This this nigga wanna be with you. And on your side, you don't want to be with that nigga, but the sex is immaculate. So you just going to say that you want to be with him. Now you done got into some whole shit that you really do not want to be in. The motherfucker be missing the whole point. Wasting she, people time. She had this nigga that wanted, that's in love with her. But it's this nigga over here that's fucking her just amazing. But it's this nigga on the back end that's a, like giving her bread. Or, it's... She benefited from all this when the main problem is why do you have all these niggas? Yeah. And you wanna wonder why the nigga you want don't wanna be with you. The nigga that wanna be with you, you don't wanna be with him. It's too much shit you got going. You're not even and putting the, the right the nigga the, the right nigga. vibe in the atmosphere. You gotta for you to be sitting here and wanna be with a nigga and, and taking this shit, you gotta at least put that vibe out there. You can't have 30 different niggas and then begging to be taken unless, by that one. Unless you spending that money on me too, then I ain't gonna feel no type of way. Like, if yeah. you finesse a nigga for us, like, oh, a nigga just gave me $200 today, so shit, I'm gonna give you a hundred, you know what I'm saying? You do whatever you want, or you go get you your favorite meal, some seafood, whatever, a fit, whatever you, a pair of shoes, but I don't even know, that's a pair of shoes. But anyway, a sack, a sim, whatever. So if I if she do some shit like that, then I'll be like, bet. Cause she'll, you know what I'm saying, finesse the nigga for us and then be like, look, I just got this nigga for a band. So I'm gonna get you, shoot you 500. I'm like, bet. Or shoot me a couple of 200, fuck it. Whatever. But if she breaking bread, then I can't even get mad at that. At the end of the day, man, I don't know. It ain't no rubric, it ain't no blueprint to go by on that shit. You just gonna have to find a motherfucker that's on the same type of time you on, y'all gonna have to thug. Y'all gotta vibe, man. And the respect will have to be up here. For real. All Lord that love team. shit can wait. Y'all can be oh, in love. Oh, God, boy. Yeah, y'all just gotta team, have respect. Find out if she gonna be loyal first before you get in a relationship with her, man. Loyalty. God damn. In any kind of way, find that shit out first before you get in that relationship, man. Cause she can yeah. tell you anything she wanna tell you, dog. Cause shit, I didn't. Actions and louder than words, too. I feel like in my situation, I done met plenty of females that could have been the potential one, but they not, nah. Like, he did something along them lines to yeah, fuck it up. Yeah, like, motherfuckers weird, bro. People are really different. Like, motherfuckers, it's a, you be thinking shit be green, and then it's just that one thing or a couple things, and be like, nah, bro, nah. And, and I'm a... I'm going to end it on this. Just because we kicking it, uh, you done got a little comfortable. Uh, we texting, we talking a lot, we interacting on social media. Don't, don't, don't ask me for no bread. Do not ask me for no money. Who we? Don't ask me for no motherfucking money. You done got come. You, you thought it was sweet. That's what you thought it was. <clears throat> that's going around a lot. That's, that's going around too much. Too much. Too fucking much. I'm not giving. I ain't cash shopping you shit, baby. I ain't helping you move your apartment in. 
I ain't getting you no food. I, no, I'm not on that level with you, baby. You, I just started talking to you. We just started kicking it. We just started fucking around. You going, you going to ask me for some bread. Girl, fuck you. Stop this shit. Stop. Y'all be out of bounds, man. Think shit's sweet, man. But they do it because it's niggas out here that done went along with that shit. Just willy-nilly. Just went along That's with it. Simple. Gave you some bread. Cashed at you. You ain't even gave them no pussy or none of that. But they cash at me your bread. You don't even fuck with him like that. <clears throat> Matter of fact, you got a whole nigga. You, you just, she just for this and you for real. Man. Please. Try hey, it on the next nigga. We done gave y'all a lot of game today. On this episode, episode 26. We done gave y'all a lot of game. Y'all just gotta go execute it, man. That's it. Just execute the shit. We ain't gonna tell you nothing wrong. I promise you, we're not gonna tell you nothing wrong. <laughs> man, go with the floor and just let this shit be. Everybody ain't meant to be your boyfriend. Every fucking woman ain't meant to be your girlfriend. Some people you just meant to fuck. Some people you not meant to fuck at all. Let it's okay, people, bro. Let them make their own decision, God and damn. then you base your decision after that. So if they do some shit that's foul, you know what I'm saying? Believe that. That's what type of person they is. They gonna be foul. They gonna do that just because they thought you was vulnerable or this, this, and that. So recognize that shit for real. Then act on it. Man, don't be all butt hurt and shit don't work out, bro. It ain't that's that life. Fucking world. And niggas, niggas, just keep it cool. Just keep it cool Please, with the feet. Just keep it cool, and it's all gonna work out in your favor. What that nigga uh just keep gonna say? Cool. Keep it professional. Just keep it professional. Keep it pro, that's man. It. Keep it pro. Just. Don't just cool, man. She gonna fuck you. Personal, just keep it. She gon' she gonna fuck you, man. Just keep it cool. I promise she gonna fuck you. And if she don't fuck you, leave the bitch alone. And don't think just cause you somewhere in front of you you're gonna get the pussy. It don't work that way. It don't work like that. Don't just think you automatically getting pussy. Like you automatically getting it just because you want it. Like Man, y'all gotta y'all y'all gotta execute the shit. Just listen. Yeah, man. Just listen, man. That's it. And you know, it's episode twenty six. No, that fits the podcast. It's your boy, Young Ward. DJ Garrett. Man, it's your boy, Bam 49. Stop being fucking weird, man.